Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at my use of Google Keep. I had a couple videos in the past where I talked about how I use uh, Google Keep as uh, post-it notes or sticky notes. And it's sort of this multimodal way for me to keep track of different things throughout my day. Um, and by multimodal, I mean I can have text, I can have images, I can have um, you know audio clips, pretty much anything that I need to keep track of. And as I discussed in the earlier video, I pretty much look at Google Keep as a way to keep like post-it notes or digital post-it notes. And so I can keep track of something and, you know, remember it for a day and then archive it later when I don't need it anymore. So look at the other video about how I use Google Keep and also how I use Google Keep in my writing. This video pretty much is going to look at how I use it on my Android device. So for me, it's important to have uh, my data be... Uh, ubiquitous so that I can access it any place, anywhere, anytime. But then also it's important for me to be device agnostic. So it doesn't really matter what platform I'm on. My information, my data always follows me everywhere I go. So I'm looking at, you know, for most of my tools, I want to be device agnostic and have ubiquitous access to my data. That's very, very important to me. And so one of the ways that I achieve that is with Google Keep, I can pretty much have my post-it notes or my sticky notes follow me around. So instead of writing down a note on a little post-it note or on a slip of paper and leaving it in my office and then getting home and wondering where did that thing go, I can have it follow me around. Um, and one of the key ways that I do that with Keep is on my Android device. So my Android device, um, my phone is, a, is an Android device. I've been on Android for pretty much ever. I also use um, Macs, you know, in my office and elsewhere. I frequently use PCs in my classroom or at home. I have a PC to do work on. But then I also have uh, an iPad that I'll sometimes use in and out of classrooms. And I have a couple Android tablets floating around the house as well. So I'm on a number of devices all different times. But my primary phone that I use every day in and out is the Google Pixel XL. So I use an Android device all day, every day, and I want to show you how I use it. So once again, we took a look at Google Keep and, and the different ways that you can save notes and access notes. But I want to pretty much just dive right into how I use Keep. So if I pull up my phone, one of the nice things that I can do is I can basically pull up the Keep app. And so... If I need to take a text note, I can basically pull up the bottom and take a note. What I love on the device too is spell check. Uh, I have a, a keyboard that will basically spell check for me. Um, and so I can always quickly bang out a note. Sometimes I wish I had spell check on my keyboard or my computer. Uh, I can, from here, I can change the colors of the notes. I can add labels like we talked about before. I can make a copy. If I needed to, I can send this. I can collaborate, but I don't really do that at all. Um, and I can delete the note from here as well. One of the other things that I like about this is that I can pin this note and it will save it to the top of Keep. Um, but then also what I can do is I can set a reminder for myself. So I can set a reminder for a specific date and time. Um, I can also set a reminder for a specific place. So if I wanted to, I could set it for a specific location. I could set it for my work. Let's see if it pulls up more work. Yeah, so I can set it for work. I can set it for home. You pretty much set it for any place that I need to. So I could say, okay, remind me when I get to work that I need to deal with this. Um, this morning, I set myself a note for a specific time. I wanted to remember to do something as I left the house. Um, today, I was leaving the house at about quarter of eight in the morning, and I wanted to remind myself this morning at, at eight o'clock that I needed to take care of that. Um, so that's really helpful for me if your life, you know, things are going crazy in your world and you want to make sure that you definitely handle something, there's a way to take that note. So I can come back in if I want to and archive that note. Uh, here is the note that I saved this morning uh, as I was getting ready, as I was saying goodbye to, to my wife and to my son for the day. Uh, my wife reminded me to bring in stuff for school that was in a bag. 
uh, you know, and I knew that I would forget it. Um, so it's it's beyond that time right now. So I'm going to archive that note because I already took care of it. So for the most part, it's nice so that I can take notes if I want to. I can also go in and I can leave uh, checklists so I can from my phone. I could say, OK, what do we need? We need apples. You know, we need bananas and we need bread for the house if I wanted to. And you could see it's trying to, like, guess other things. Um, so I can bring this to the store and as I'm buying things at the store, I can sort of check it off. Um, and when I'm done with this, I can archive that as well on my device, on my Android. I can also take, um, you know, notes where I can draw. Um, so I can draw on my Android device, um, and save that note and it'll automatically save it, you know, online to keep and, and pretty much wherever else I use it. I can also use the camera on here. So if I want to take a photo, so I could take a photo of my cold brew iced coffee right now and save it. And one of the nice things about this is if you're in a classroom, you could take a picture of a whiteboard. You can take a picture of student work, um, pretty much whatever you need to. Um, but one of the killer uses of this is the ability to take audio notes. So as I said, my um, Android phone follows me wherever I go. I listen to podcasts on the drive-in, which sometimes can be a, a bit longer than I'd like. Um, you know, I, I carry it to class, away from class. It's in my office. It's always with me. And there's a lot of times where you'll sort of, um, you'll come up with an idea that you want to save and you can very quickly type out a text note for yourself. But sometimes I'm driving and I'm listening to a podcast and somebody will say something that's very, very interesting to me and I want to remember it. And it might turn into a blog post, it might turn into a note for later, but it's something that I want to make sure that I don't miss out on and that I don't forget. So the nice thing is I can take an audio note by hitting the little audio mic on the bottom. So now it says that it's asking me to say something and it's basically recording all of the words that are coming out of my mouth. What I learned is that as soon as you stop, so if you take a pause as you're talking, it will stop recording. That has messed me up a couple times. So now if I back out of that, it should take that note. And it's going to prove me wrong as I'm recording. So let's see if this test records this time. So it says that it's saving the note, but I don't see it popping up here. Let's try one last time. This would be a, a, a demo fail. Okay, Google, are you going to save this audio for me this time? What am I doing wrong here? Google, what are you doing now? Are you messing up on me? Come on, don't prove me wrong. All right, so it says that it's saving. Believe me that it actually works pretty well and I use it in the car this morning. Um, so the nice thing here is once again, if I save it, um, it'll have all of my notes and it'll sync back elsewhere. Um, the other thing that I do on my phone is Android is very nice where it has widgets built in. Um, so I can scroll to the right and very quickly add a note with this little toolbar here on the bottom. So if I want to, I can scroll to the right and I can quickly tap the mic in the middle and add an audio note and hopefully it works this time. It's being finicky now. Um, so then the nice thing is that I can basically go back to my computer screen. I can go back to my browser and it will pull over all of my notes um, so I can see here's the you know the, the cold brew that I had saved before uh, here is the the face that I sketched out that's not fully loading um, but then here is an example of this morning I was listening to a podcast on the way back from dropping off my daughter at school and it basically saved the audio note something I know I wanted to remember from the podcast
So this morning I was listening to a podcast talking about interviewing and interviewing strategies. Um, and I wanted to remember a note on how to ask a specific question in the interview for my research. And so what I basically did was I talked through the idea. I hit pause on the podca podcast and then came over to Google Keep and took the audio note. And then from here, I can do all of the other stuff that I normally would do with Google Keep. So I can mark this up. I can annotate it. Um, I can add to this note. I can delete the note if I wanted to, and then I can also say that, you know, send this thing over to Google Docs or just open it up in a Google Doc and sort of drag the text over. So this is a good way to remember the content from that podcast. And that is a killer feature for me as I'm driving and I see things or hear things that I want to remember and not forget. Um, because the mind sometimes jogs things at different times at different places. So I have a ton of audio clips saved previously that I want to deal with um, and some of those I've showed in the past. So these are once again audio clips that as I'm listening to a podcast I hear something and it really makes me think and I can quickly pick up my phone hit the mic button record an audio note and not text and drive you know heaven forbid uh, but I can real quickly take an audio note. Um, if I had a, a wearable device, I had an Android watch for a little bit, um, or if I had a, an Apple watch, if I had one of those devices, then I could quickly tap my wrist and then take this audio note. Um, but I don't see the need to, to add that complexity to my system as of yet. I can quickly tap a note, uh, tap the mic on my phone, and save an audio note. What questions you ask about the world determine your success in the world? Okay, so that was something that I heard on the on the audio podcast that I really uh, wanted to dig into at a later date, possibly write a blog post about, um, or conduct a little bit more research and figure out what this all means. So once again, this is my use of Google Keep on my Android phone. My Android phone is my daily driver, um, and that's one of the ways that I make sure that I can get access to and use all of the notes that I have in Google Keep. And it's the primary way for me to add notes to Keep. Um, I don't spend a lot of time pulling notes out of and processing the notes uh, in my phone. For the most part, I sit down at my browser and then I'll deal with the notes and I'll say, okay, well, I, I don't need this anymore and I don't need this anymore. So I can come in and, and delete things that I don't really want anymore. So once again, that's Google Keep. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. I'll have a series of videos now where I'll start to fold it in different devices because once again, I think it's important that we can be device agnostic and, and use our, our data and our information across multiple tools and multiple spaces. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Um, if you have any comments to leave behind, please leave me a note. I'd, I'd definitely appreciate it. And by all means, uh, have a great day.